Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today, a Thursday afternoon here at Mad World Tarot. And we're still looking at this birthday business, the birthday phone call, and at the same time as the birthday phone call was being reported in such glowing terms as a turning point in the relationship between Harry and his pa, we had a conflicting story. And the conflicting story was Omid's book, a bit of it has been leaked to People magazine by Scooby-Doo himself, of course. I suppose he was hoping someone would serialize it, but nobody has. And uh, ha ha ha, not yet anyway. Um, so I had to leak it to People magazine, leak the choice bit about the day of the Queen's passing, uh, when William was so nasty to Harry. Um, it's a bit of an unfortunate uh, it's a bit unfortunate in terms of timing, let me rephrase that, from Harry's point of view, because he's been doing so well with the phone call. Uh, must speak again soon, according to the stuff that we have been forced to read uh, in the British media. And uh, I know how birthday phone calls go because I've just had uh, quite a few of them myself. That's how birthdays tend to go. At my age, you speak on the phone to lots of people you don't normally speak to. And uh, it's lovely to catch up with them. You chat and then at the end you say, you know, that was lovely. We must catch up again soon. Both knowing full well that you're not going to catch up again soon. You're going to catch up again on their birthday. And that's just how it goes, not because you've fallen out or anything like that. It's just because you don't really have much in common on a day to day basis. And that's just life and that's normal. But uh, this we're going to speak again soon. We're going to chat again next week. Oops, Omid book just perhaps blew that out of the water. So that's what we're going to look at today with the new Palladini Tarot. Short little reading from Harry's perspective. Is this terribly bad timing? Omid's book. How supportive is he of the book? How does he view it? How does he view the timing? How does he uh, really feel about Omid? We've heard rumours that... Um, Harry has been wanting to sever ties with Scooby-Doo. We've heard, read it on Sea Dance, Celebrity Days and Nights. We've heard it. It's swirled around in the past couple of months. But Harry is over the whole thing, felt that ties should be cut. Uh, Megan saying no. And uh, it's a bit of a conflict there. So uh, was he wanting to cut ties with Scooby-Doo? And is Scooby-Doo's book going to derail this very frail detente that Harry and his father seem to have arrived at in the past few days. So that's our reading. His view of the book as truth. How, how does he perceive it? His view about the timing of the book is a terrible timing from his perspective. Uh, was he trying to get rid of Scooby-Doo from his life? And is this book going to derail? everything that he's been trying to achieve and we know that he's been working very hard to get back in with the royals we've seen that in stories all over the place another story showing up about how he wants his kids to have the same christmas experience that he had and uh, so he's desperate to get back in with the royals is scooby doo's book going to blow this whole thing out the water i've got cards on the floor i'm going to have to go and fit fetch them shuffle them back in remind you it's tarot for fun and entertainment and while i'm doing this uh thank you again for your birthday wishes talking about birthdays it was lovely and very kind of you all well not all but <laughs> those of you who did thank you very much and uh it's it's just tarot for fun and entertainment i interrupted my own disclaimer i just read energy here archetypal energy fetch more cards off the floor and uh they're flying all over Four of Wands came out, needed to be shown. That's the Royal Family. Shuffle this one back in. And uh, remind you, there's a disclaimer in the box below. A uh, bit of a shambles, uh, the preamble. Sorry about that. But I think it's maybe Harry's energy. I'm feeling, as I'm doing this, I'm feeling quite panicked. And I'm not in my personal life panicked about anything at all. Not at all. I've got Fluffy lying here stretched out. I wish I could show her. Um very hot cooling her tummy uh, she's very relaxed chilling here on the floor as I'm doing this uh, but the energy is panicked energy anxious energy let's see what's going on Harry and the book 
Queen of Swords in reverse. That is a vicious energy, um, a cold energy, a chilling energy. It's it's destructive. The Queen of Swords, uh, when she's in reverse, she is quite something. She is vengeful. She's vicious. She's destructive. There is great speculation as to who might have been dictating Omid's book to him. There's a rumor that's going around that uh, what was released to People magazine was word for word what was told by the Lady of Montecito to someone close to her very recently. That is the Queen of Swords energy. That is a viciousness, uh, a very negative very toxic female energy destructive energy when you get on the wrong side of the queen of swords you feel it and it can do damage that is irreversible um and that's that's the book and that's the energy of the book and that's someone else's energy that may indeed i'm speculating be coming through in the book let's see the overall situation that we're dealing with here we're dealing with the four of swords uh -oh. uh, that's a disaster four of swords this is something he wishes would go away he wants to go away he wants to retreat from this energy and take himself out of the situation he wants to uh really uh, just he could die when he thinks about what is going on this is not a situation that he is supporting that he wants this he feels could utterly destroy everything that's why I was so panicked as I was trying to get the preamble out and the cards and the cards kept landing on the floor. This is a mess. This is a disaster. This could destroy his reputation. Um, he made this bed. It's a bed of nails that you lie on in the Four of Swords. It follows the Three of Swords act of treachery and betrayal. Uh, you've broken someone's heart and then you have to go and lie on the bed of nails. That's what's happening with this Four of Swords. It's not always read that way. That's how I'm reading it now. It's me and my interpretation of the cards. Um, how does he view the book itself? Nine of Rods in reverse. Um, it's, the, it's the collapse card. It's the awful down card um, of can't deal with it. This 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 could f cause everything to fall over. So it's the same energy as the Four of Swords, really. It's a very similar feeling um, that the book could just bring the whole the whole thing down, could collapse the whole house of cards. It really could. Uh, it's the battered and bruised, the wounded warrior energy, the Nine of Rods upright in reverse. You fall over. You just can't stand there anymore. You're, you're damaged beyond repair. And that's how he views the book. How about the timing of the book? So it's not telling me he thinks it's true or false or justified or anything. He's telling me he views this as a catastrophe that's going to make everything fall over. How about the timing? Eight of Wands, Eight of Rods. Uh, attention seeking. And this is the rumor again. Uh, it's fast and furious energy, the Eight of Rods. It's come out of nowhere. It's a blast of, of pub, uh, publicity. It's um, the Blitz kind of energy. It's, it's unstoppable. Torrent. Uh, it's not a negative card itself, but we've already got uh, three negative cards. I don't need another negative card. It's simply telling me that this is very intentional. It's deliberate blast of PR and uh, it, it, the rumor is that uh, Scooby-Doo knew he was uh, in jeopardy, he might be dumped, might be cut off from the only source of supply that he has. He's not a royal reporter, he's not on the royal rota, he's a nothing and a nobody, he's been sacked from Yahoo, he's been sacked from Harper's, he uh, is a reporter at large for them but not on their payroll as such. His business is failing. Uh, it uh, hasn't um, filed its returns when last I heard. Richard Eden dug that little juicy morsel up and he needed to blast this book all over the place. It's being, um, what's the word, discounted. Although they always do this with books. There was a head, blazing headline in the Daily Mail book, reduced price before it's even been uh, released, been sold. 
uh, it always happens, the same thing happened to Spare. It was uh, drastically discounted before it was um, uh, released. But he needed this. And so that's a very long way of saying that Harry understands this. How about wanting to get rid of Scooby-Doo, cut him out? Uh, five of Cups, yeah, absolutely. Uh, five of Cups, this is an extreme version of the Five of Cups in reverse. For me, it's a regret, bitter regret about this relationship, this association. Uh, he has denied. He said, "I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have." It has been denied by Scooby. Sorry, let's uh, correct that. As far as I can recall, in the court case, Scooby Doo testified. Um, I think. I hope I'm not making this all up. Said, "I don't have Harry's phone number." Of course, he's got Megan's phone number. It was the what wasn't said. That was the interesting part of that statement. Hope I'm, I'm correct in that. If I'm not correct, apologies to Scooby-Doo for misquoting him. And of course, remind you, disclaimer in the box below, uh, you figure this out for yourselves. I'm just reading energy here. And um, I'm in Harry's energy at the moment as a tarot reader. And Harry is very, very upset about what is going on. Four of swords wants to crawl away and die. Nine of rods in reverse. This is going to wreck everything. This is the end game for him. He knows that it's a PR stunt from Scooby-Doo uh, to salvage him, his own reputation, make big sales from this book. Harry is in Five of Cups energy in terms of his relationship with Scooby-Doo. Wants it to end. Can't uh, uh, can't uh, even contemplate seeing the person right now, I would say, with that five of cups in, re in reverse, a full of regret. You can hear that I can hardly speak and I'm really rushing. And I'm sorry to those of you who aren't um, native English speakers. I'm sorry I'm racing along and I know it's hard to follow me when I do this. And you know that you can switch closed captions on for what they're worth on my channel. It's not something I do. It's something that you have to do yourselves. For those of you who uh, sometimes ask about that in the comments uh, but getting back to the five of cups in reverse it's terrible energy it's terrible it's repentance it's what have i done outcome is this book going to wreck everything for harry pay to pentacles there is still hope for him he can still fix this um he's going to have to be humble He's going to have to learn lessons. It's the student, the page of pentacles. Um, he's going to have to stop being in emperor energy, which I've seen him being in very often in readings recently. And he's going to have to um, tone himself right down to page of pentacles. And he's going to have to make a solid offer. An apology is in here for me. Usually it's a page of cups. That's an apology. But this is... A declaration of intent, of loyalty, of I will serve you. That's what this page of pentacles is telling me. If he wants to mend his relationship with his father, he has no chance of mending his relationship with his brother. But with his father, this is what we're talking about here. If he wants to crawl out of the hole that he's crawled into here with the four of swords, if he wants to fix this nine of wands, in reverse, if he wants to undo the damage that's been done by this vicious Queen of Swords, if he wants to get out of this Five of Cups energy of grief and woe and remorse, he's going to have to apologize. He's going to have to offer sub, sub, something substantial, some token of loyalty, of his own truth, of his own integrity. He's going to have to work at it. He's going to have to learn a lesson. He's going to have to show that he's learned a lesson. A horrible journey for anyone to be on. I do not envy him right now. Uh, much as I personally dislike the brat, um, I do not envy him the situation that he, <clears throat> excuse me, has got himself into. Uh, he's got his work cut out, but uh, all is not lost uh, but he sees it. He sees what's going on with this book. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow.